capacity to love is one of the most wonderful things about being human. Love brings us such joy and elation. It can transform everyday routine into wonder and delight. Love helps us make sacrifices for others, to live with inconvenience or hardship and to go the extra mile. But love also leaves us open to hurt. It makes us suffer and grieve and ache when we lose someone close. Grief is not forever, but love is. When we lose someone we love, we must learn not to live without them, but to live with the love they've left behind. I would like to welcome you all to this very special, but very different virtual memory day, where we will all come together to share stories and keep a vibrant memory of those children who are no longer with us, but are in our hearts. It's so very important to remember and today we will have the opportunity to do exactly that and to take comfort in coming together to celebrate those special lives and their everlasting love that we will still hold close. We all deal with death in different ways and some of the readings, poems and prayers may provoke some sad feelings and emotions. We want you to know that our support team are available for anyone who may be struggling at this time. They work with individuals and families in a number of ways, including memory work, spiritual support and bereavement counselling. We will be monitoring our messages today. If you feel you need to talk to someone, please do get in touch. Thank you to all that have contributed to and commemorated our memory day. It has been beautifully touching to hear all the marvellous memories and share in a small part of your celebrations of loved ones. Thank you to those of you that have co contributed to the fabulous butterfly wall in Andes. It's fantastic artistic mural for the whole hospice to enjoy. We hope you found it a peaceful and comforting activity to be involved in and that you are proud of the results. I hope this time will provide you with the space to reflect on and recall many special memories. And I'd like to finish with a thought adapted from a poem by Mitch Albom. Lost love is still love. It just takes a different form, that's all. You can't see their smile, hold their hand, tussle their hair and hold them tight. But when those senses weaken, another comes to life. Memory. Memory becomes your partner. You nurture it, you hold it, you dance with it. Life has to end, love doesn't. Broken Chain by Ron Tranmer We little knew that morning God was to call your name In life we loved you dearly In death we do the same It broke our hearts to lose you You did not go alone For part of us went with you The day God called you home You left us beautiful memories Your love is still our guide And though we cannot see you you are always at our side. Our family chain is broken and nothing seems the same. But as God calls us one by one, the chain will link again. Recently I watched a true story drama about a child who lost his life. It moved me because it made me understand the cause of the sorrow I feel every time a child loses their life. The film starts not with a child losing his life, but living to a ripe old age, with his wife and children, and all the friends he has made. It tells us how he has supported his people in his, in his community, at his place of work and in his family. The film goes back in time, to a time and place that he, as a child, actually loses his life. It is then that the viewer realises that he never got to have those relationships, support and love those people, get married and have children of his own, and watch his grandchildren grow. He never got to follow his dreams. His life was cut short. No parent should outlive their child. 
it goes against the natural order of things. When a child passes away, the whole world loses. But this is an unseen loss. Every life is precious, however brief. Children give us joy, the chance to love and be loved, care and make a difference, to make the world around them a better place. So whenever a child loses, passes away, I grieve not only for their passing, but for all people that will never know them, never be moved by them, like we at the hospice have. As we, come to, as we come to the time we remember our children who have passed away, we light this candle as a symbol of our love for them. I pray that you all find solace in these difficult times. That you learn to live with the good and bad memories. That in time you remember only the good ones. We can never forget our loved ones, nor do we ever get over our loss. But in time, with the help of our family, friends and all those who care about us, we can learn to live again. I pray in time that all of us who live make that little extra difference to the world around us in honour of those we have lost. Amen. A butterfly to remind me, even though we are apart, your spirit is always with me, forever in my heart. O oh, little butterfly, messenger of God, when I see you in the sky, I cannot help but nod. You bring me respite from grief and despair. Every time I see you sailing through the air, you renew my faith in all God's wondrous plan. And I know it's all in faith, not in what I understand. From all great croaks. Death leaves a heartache no one can heal. Love leaves a memory no one can steal. The greatest power in the world, a source of endless joy, the hope and light of day and night that nothing can destroy. Protection for the very young, comfort for the old, warm memories for everyone that never will grow cold. For poor and wealthy, great and small, the simple and the wise, love is life's best and greatest gift. The true love never dies. Voices of those sadly past, memories made forever last. Familiar places, sights, sounds and faces, down memory lane, childhood chases. It was simple back then, no complications, infections, no worrying if or when. We just got on and made do, made laughter, told stories, some which were true. We loved, we laughed, we cried out loud, together we achieved and for that we were proud. We seized the day in work and in play. If we had problems, we'd simply speak up and say. No ifs, no buts, no maybe one day. No political correctness, no blue sky thinking. There was only one way. But time goes by in the blink of an eye. To turn back the clock, we wish we try. We grow old, we move on, recalling, remembering days long gone. Our memories fade fast of our lives in the past. But we always make sure we make the best of them last. So the moral of this tale today, in a Yorkshire twang I have to say, I remember a lesson my old man once taught, full details of which way too much to amount. But he said this, he said, whatever you do, do it and ensure making each day count. Whenever grief tries to steal the beauty of your memories, just remember love never dies. Goodbyes are only for those who love with their eyes because for those who love with their heart and soul there is no such thing as separation when you feel so sad or a little blue look around and you will see i am here with you i am the bird who soars so high above 
I am the one who filled your heart with love. Our memories build a special bridge by Emily Matthews. When loved ones have to part, to help us feel well with them still and see the grieving heart, they span the years and warm our lives, preserving ties that bind. Our memories build a special bridge and bring us peace of mind. This is called Love Lives On by an unknown author. Those we love remain with us for love itself lives on and cherished memories never fade because a loved one's gone. Those we love can never be more than a thought apart for as long as there is memory they'll always live on in your heart. And think of me when you're feeling sad or a little blue look around and you'll see I'm here with you. I'm the bird who soars so high above I'm the one who filled your heart with love. In Memoriam by William Morecambe. For a second you were flying like you always wanted to. Now you'll fly forever in skies of azure blue. We'll see your smile in every ray of sunshine after rain and hear the echo of your laughter over all the pain. The world's a little quieter now. The colours have lost their hue. The birds are singing softly and our hearts are missing you. Each time we see a little cloud or a rainbow soaring high, we'll think of you and gently wipe a tear from our eye. Memory Day at Andes is always a welcome comfort for parents and families who have lost a loved one with us. Unfortunately, this year, due to the pandemic and safety restrictions, we've been unable to host the occasion here as we usually would. However, we hope that this virtual approach will offer some solace to the families that are struggling with their grief. We would like to celebrate the wonderful memories you have created with those who are no longer with us. Here at Andes, we know just how valuable memory work is for our parents and families. We do our best to ensure that all our families have the opportunity to create beautiful memories that they can treasure forever. Grieving is such an important process following the death of someone special to us. It helps us to realise that although our loved ones have passed, they will always be with us in our hearts and memories. For 2020, we felt the fact that <clears throat> despite being physically apart, we're still with our loved ones after death seemed especially relevant. We hope that you found our Together Wherever posts useful. But if you would like any more information about, about the bereavement support we offer, please contact us. Finally, thank you to all those who've taken part in these virtual proceedings by producing a lovely butterfly for our serenity room. Together, they have made a beautiful collection for our patients, families and staff to enjoy.
Yeah, I can feel your smile.